Okay, this is going to be for Leo. Leo the lion. Leo, are you lying? <laughs> Look at that, you was right on the bottom of the deck. Ooh, hitting the money. Judgment is in your favor, Leo. Look at that. About somebody time somebody got a positive read. Tower moment coming for a water sign in your life. Scorpio, maybe. Woo. Three of Pentacles. My nose is itching. Is your nose itching? That means somebody's coming. You're having a family gathering. Mm. Leo. husband of a Gemini that works too much. You want some time. Somebody's putting an ending to the bullshit. is paid, the bills are paid, it, I need some time. <laughs> Alright, Leo. This is for August the 15th till September the 1st. August the 15th till September the 1st. Oh. Family spitter spat between a earth sign and a fire sign. You may have daughters that are fighting. Family feuding it. I'm getting that these are not toddlers. <laughs> and maybe not even, I don't even think teenagers. These are, these are children that have their own homes. And they're fighting. And it's causing you some dismay. Because you want your family to be together. August 15th to September 1st. Three of Cups. Full on the bottom. <sighs> Knight of Pentacles. Page of Pentacles. The Hermit. Virgo. Let me get to a new roll up here in the corner, please. Okay, thank you. Eight of Pentacles and the Eight of Swords. Or is it the Nine of Swords? Nine of Swords, excuse me. Eight of Swords the other way when you're trapped. Huh? You're up in your head. Alright, let's get clarification on the Nine of Pentacles. What's going on there? Strength yourself, Leo. Oh. Page of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles. Seven of Cups, Five of Swords, Five of Swords. Education. This is five of Wands. And clarification on the hermit. Seven swords, justice on the bottom. Let me get clarification on the eight of pentacles, please. Clarification on the eight of pentacles. The tower. Clarification on the nine of swords. Nine of Wands. There's an ending coming. King Cups on the bottom. Very emotional. Uh, 
Give me a minute. Leo, you are having to take responsibilities for your in your actions for holding back a secret that you should not have held. Uh, you should have been honest to begin with. Okay, now there is uh, you're worried about this secret coming out. You got some people right in your life. It looks like your children are fighting. If you have a fire sign child, a Virgo child, or an earth sign child, they're fighting. It may be over money. Um, there may be a family business. And there's a tower moment about it. Because one feels like they work more than the other one does. And they're feuding. And they're fighting. And all you want is a happy celebration between uh, everyone. Okay, but you feel wounded a little bit because, well, it's your own self. You've been up in your head about the lie you help keep about something. Alright, two for the overall. Two for the overall up here at the top, please. Two for the overall up here at the top, please. Well, I did two overall over there, but you know, for the next in the future, that way. In the future. Four swords and the wheel of fortune. Yeah, I before I even pulled the cards, and on the bottom of the deck, the page of wands. Um. You need to get some rest. You really only have your children work in your family business to bring them more closer and the more into family and to keep the family together. It does not look like you need them to work there to save money for the family. So if one of them wants off, you know, and they was like, well, I can't work, I gotta do this, and they was telling lies about it because they don't wanna work, hire someone. There's no sense in these lies right here for some lame shit like that. You got enough damn money. I'm sorry. This is, you know, it's almost like a damn personal reading I got going here. How's this going to turn out? Twin Cups. Six of Swords. Okay. Maybe you've been doing this because one of your child has been wanting to leave the family business and to leave the home, but you wanted to keep them close to keep, make sure <clears throat> that they had a brighter future in the home business or what, learn the business. You know, maybe you have a restaurant. I don't know what kind of work you have. I mean, let me... some kind of shop or something <clears throat> where you're selling stuff and your kids, you know, they come in and they work and they sell stuff. One of them doesn't want to work there. The other one takes off because they just want to take off. But the other one doesn't want to work there is the one you keep having work to keep her there is what I'm hearing. Okay. She doesn't want to work there. It's very emotional. She wants to move on towards something else. Now, she's old enough, you know. As long as she goes to college and gets a higher education to do so. 
but not going out to work some other lame job. Why would I rather go work at McDonald's? No. No. Absolutely not. You got a family business where you can sit here and work in the family and you want to go work? No, 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 no. You work your butt right here. You're making a bad decision and I'm not going to let you make it. It's, it's what you need to say. Okay? They want to go work somewhere else. You know, a brighter future. Let's see what's in this future. Uh, I'm seeing a bit of solitude. Maybe they just want some solitude. They're the type of child that wants solitude. You're very emotional about it. You wanted your family to stay all in the family business, is what I'm seeing. You want to keep them close. You want to keep them safe. A lot of dangers in the world. Uh, let me see what I got else here. I just see your own lies and deceit being against you, you know, towards this. I can't tell if it's if if your lies and deceit about the other one taking off or because they're sick or whatever is the reason why they're moving away but one of the reasons but I don't see it is that I see is that they <coughs> they want some solitude they want to feel like an individual individual <coughs> you still see them as babies they are your babies I'll always see my, my baby be I'm 50 right now uh, and she's four I guess if I do make it to a hundred <laughs> in another 50 years she'll be 54 I'll still think of her as my baby you got 16 weeks to 16 months before she decides to move completely off um, keep it truthful Maybe explore, help her explore her options into doing something else a little, you know, safe area. Help her pick out a safe area. That's what most families do when their kids go off to college and so They're like, all right, this over here is this right here, safe area. This is the bad area over here and what we're looking in for you to go to college over here. You stay away from this side of the land. Look, over here you can work this coffee shop or... Um, you can work at this zoo over here. You can eat at this restaurant over here, but don't go over the side of this town where this movie theater is. This one that's way over here is a lot less dangerous than in this area. You know, help the child plan their stuff out. This will help them feel a little safer, them feel a little bit more loved, them feeling that you are, you know, okay, you're grown. I trust you with yourself. Um, I think you're strong enough to handle it, you know, believing in them. You believe in them. It's a very important thing for you to believe in your children and them to feel that you believe in them. I'm seeing her sit in a little restaurant, a little lonely restaurant where nobody's in there and sitting there eating a bowl of soup. And it's very solitude. There's not hardly anybody in there. It's very quiet, not a lot of noise. And she's just sitting there eating her bowl of soup. And this is the moment. This is the moment that she feels grown up. And, and in one instance, she feels a little bit alone because she's at her with her by herself at this table eating a bowl of soup. She's alone. She's in unfamiliar territory. She feels grown up and a little scared at the same time too. But she's taking a deep breath. And she's putting a larger size pair of shoes on. And this is a metaphor, you know, saying that she's fixing to take big steps forward. It's 
progress. We want our children to have progress. We want them to always go forward towards good things. And I see this in your child, Leo. I see this in your child. You just have to let go a little bit. Hold on a little bit, but let go a little bit too. You get what I'm saying? You hold on by helping her pick out her area and all the situations around it. Even if you have to call the damn police station and say, look, how's this area over here? Which areas do we want to stay away from over here? You know? Plan it out to a T. All right, Leo, that is your reading for August the 15th till September 1st. Please hit that subscribe button. I see you're being successful. So, you should be very proud. Blessings.